Yo, what's good? It's Sydney Johnson, snowboard expert at Curated. Here at Curated, we help thousands of people find the right gear for them every season. This year, we went to Powder Mountain in Utah to test out some of the best boards from the best brands. After testing out all these boards, we put together our top 2023 women's snowboards. Just so you know, at Curated, we're not sponsored by any brands, so these reviews are completely unbiased. At number five, we have the Jones Twin Sister. Jones claims that this is a nice freestyle all-mountain board for those riders that are looking to turn the entire mountain into their park. The edge hold on this board was really great. It is stiff, but not too stiff where you can't have fun. And I was able to carve really aggressive carves and navigate between trees, navigate my whole day on the mountain just fine on this board. It was awesome. I felt after any jump, I could land solid. I could ride this board switch or regular and still feel the same results in chatter, in my landings, in overall riding. So no chatter underfoot with this and it was awesome. I was able to hit those side hits and really play around and have the spring in the pop that I needed to get the air and to get the turn that I would like out of the board. So this board was really fantastic, especially for somebody that wants to start adding some style into their riding, but is more an all mountain rider than a freestyle rider. If you're a true park rat, you won't want something as stiff as this. But if you are a really aggressive rider that rides some park, but also rides the big mountain, this is a good board for you. I would recommend this board to especially female rippers. I mean, look at this graphic. It's so hot. This graphic is amazing. Female riders that rip, that want to keep up with all the other riders or skiers or show everyone up on the mountain. This is for those riders that are aggressive, but really fun and add a lot of style to their riding. At number four, we have the Burton Storyboard. Burton claims that the storyboard is the ultimate women's free ride shape for a snowboard. Fabulous, no chatter, great through the trees. It is an aggressive board. It's not necessarily gonna help you turn, you need to know how to turn. There's no rocker in this bad boy, so you need to be able to get on your edges on your own. It's pretty stiff. It's got some nice pop for sure. This board is definitely stiff, it's aggressive, and it is a hard charger. Uh, for my lady rippers out there that want to get into some deep carves, like to get into some trees, this board is not meant for a beginner. And I would argue and say this board isn't even meant for an intermediate. This is gonna be more of that advanced free rider um, who wants to get into those steeps and deeps. At number three, we have the GNU Ladies' Choice. GNU claims that the Ladies' Choice is Jamie Anderson's fun freestyle choice and it'll carve, fly, and float through the whole mountain. And it's got carbon power bands with radical response and pop. GNU Ladies' Choice is stable, easy to turn. I personally can feel the asymmetrical twin on this one. I feel a lot more even on my toe and heel side. It's got a friendly flex. It's about a mid flex. So for me, it's super playful, super like perfect. Kind of like your all mountain, more aggressive female riding board that you can take into the park and then kind of make the whole mountain your playground. At speed, this thing has control. It has stability. There was no chatter. Um, and it really just wants to fly. I did take it into some uneven terrain and it was able to absorb anything. It's super damp. I would definitely add this board into my quiver as my more freestyle oriented, softer flexing, playful board. That's definitely not a noodle um, because it can definitely withstand some more aggressive riding as well. At number two, we have the Solomon Bellevue. Solomon says that the Bellevue is designed for ladies looking for precise edge control, whether they are ripping pow or carving groomers. This thing is going to nail through powder. I could already tell like on some of that slush. Oh my God, it was yeah. like a boat floating on top. Because it's got backseat camber, when I did get into my carves, it almost felt like I had this driving force behind me, uh, which was really, really cool. It's kind of a wonderful free ride board. And what I really, really liked about it was that it felt very short. So I rode it in a 148, but it almost rode like a 144 even. And because it was a little bit wider in between my feet, it felt super nimble edge to edge. And it just made my turns very, very easy. So going through the trees was a blast. And at number one, the top women's snowboard of 2023 is the Jones Dreamweaver. 
Jones claims that the Dreamweaver is the playful charger. It's a high performance all mountain board with a friendly flex that's perfect for everyday pow and peace. Unreal, whether you're going through tight trees, making some big sweeping carves on some wider groomed runs, it just feels like you are floating, whether you are floating on a groomer or you're actually floating on top of powder. The Dreamweaver has a spooned out nose and tail on a 3D contour base, which will make those tight turns and kind of have this like catch free feel while you're doing that. What I really like is that this board would be a great option for someone who's getting into snowboarding, someone who's taken some lessons before, has their turns under their belt, and they are looking for something that they can take into a little bit of powder. It is an extremely approachable, directional, free ride board that is very playful um, and super fun to ride. What do you think? Did your snowboard make the list? If you need help finding the right gear for you, make sure to go to curated.com. You'll be matched with an expert like me to receive free personalized advice. If you like this video, click like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe to see more content from Curated.